Hey y'all, and welcome back to Cleopatra's Nature Morning Tea Monday. Yes, I'm excited y'all because I'm happy, I'm happy to be back with y'all this week because I did not come to y'all last week with a Morning Tea Monday, but this week I am here, I am back, it's Monday, I'm excited, Morning Tea Monday, and y'all... I'm so excited. I'm so happy right now because we're talking about Moringa today, y'all. Moringa. <laughs> yes, that is our tea for today, and I'm excited. Right now, the song that we are listening to is Etana, and this is Who I Am. Um, I came across this song, I think, like, a little bit last week or whatever. I was listening to some Etana songs or whatever and some Elaine, like, different stuff, um... Yeah, so y'all listen to this song because I like it. It's still kind of hot. I can't even drink it the way I like to drink it. Because I like to just drink my tea kind of like room temperature so I could just straight drink it or whatever. But yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope y'all like this song because it's the jam. We got to start putting positive things answer our brain and our environment and everything around us we have to protect and block our energy literally we have to protect ourselves every energy ain't good energy all right y'all so let's get started like i just told y'all um our herb for today is moringa Yes, Moringa. I know, I think I have mentioned Moringa like in several other videos, like talking about other stuff. And I've like calmly threw the name Moringa in there or whatever um, in a couple other videos. But yeah, so Moringa is um, a fast growing tree. It reaches about 10 to 12 centimeters in height or, in height or whatever. Um, the bark is like a whitish um grayish type of color is surrounded by like a thick type of cork or whatever i do have like some of the pieces of the cork it is like i it was some bigger ones or whatever but yeah it do have like a really kind of thick hard type of cork or whatever and these are like very dried and crushed so you know i couldn't even really see the um the leaves or whatever but um yeah, the flowers are like a yellowish white type petals um, on it or whatever. And um, the fruit that grows on the tree is like a hanging fruit or whatever. It's like um, a three-sided brown capsule type of like thing. It holds like a dark brown um, global seed um, in it or whatever. And the seeds have like a whitish papery, uh, papery wing or whatever um, to it. And it gets around literally by wind and water. Like, that's how it travels from place to place, island to island, from through the water, whatever. But it is, it is, Africa is the sole genus of Moringa, East and South Africa. Um, it, you can find it in Asia, India, um, Ethiopia hold nine species. So does um, North Kenya and uh, Somalia got nine species. And eight of those species are endemic to Africa, meaning native to, they belong to Africa or whatever. So I thought that was amazing because, you know, a lot of mostly everything come from us you know all of this land is africa only natural disasters cause this land to break up and part and go all over the place but anyway the moringa um is very very high in vitamins y'all why i'm so excited about the moringa is that it got more vitamin c than oranges y'all i'm loud as on no way <laughs> 
But yes, it do. It got more vitamin C than oranges. Um, oranges have like 53 milligrams of vitamin C per 100 grams, but the raw moringa leaf have 52 milligrams per serving or whatever, which per serving is the same thing as per 100 grams or whatever. But the dried powder, when you extract the juice and dry the leaves, that powder contains more or up to, it can, it, it can contain anywhere from 18 to like 200 milligrams per 100 grams, excuse me, of vitamin C per serving. And then not only that, with all the vitamin C, I got vitamin B1, 2, 3, 6, 7, vitamin A, C, K, E, and Z. When I say this is the most vitamin pack superfood, no other, no other that I have researched that has been discovered yet has more vitamins packed in it than moringa, moringa. And I didn't even give you all of the vitamins that it has. When I say that it has more iron than spinach, moringa has four milligrams of iron per serving and the spinach only have 2.7 milligrams. I'm talking about one teaspoon of moringa powder has 0.5 milligrams of iron. Literally like, oh my God. And then, like with it having um, so much iron in it or whatever, it is kind of hard sometimes to absorb it. But the amount, the high amount of vitamin C that it has in it, like helps boost the level of absorption for the iron to flow through your body and get to where it need to be. So that was just powerful. That that's that's wonderful. Like, and then moringa has like um, essential and non-essential amino acids, and you know the essential amino acids can't be made naturally from your body that strictly comes from your diet so the things that you eat in the things that we consume in is what making our essential acids come to us or whatever um moringa do have like 309 309 and it aids the metabolism and prevent the fatty buildup in your liver so that's good for people with like slow metabolism is hard for them to lose weight they get tired real fast because it also has um I, I sold lysine, um, and that's good for the brain. Y'all know how I am about my brain. I'm always trying to find something to boost my brain and my memory because I'm always reading and researching something and finding new information and trying to get ways to, like, ding, stick it into my brain. So, yes, I'm glad that everything that I'm consuming because, like, I've been drinking Moringa for a while. Like, straight up, I've been drinking it for a while. Like, I know a minute. And I didn't know I was treating my body for half of the things that I'm treating my body for by straight drinking Moringa. Like, I was finding out, like, one or two things here and there by, you know what I'm saying, some of my roster friends and stuff or whatever. And so, like, that was, like, making me start drinking Moringa. But then once I got the research and then I got the getting in my books and I got the, I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah, no, say Moringa ain't on the same level with CMOS and the Leaf of Life. Nah, nah, yeah, it is though. For real, this thing is not playing. The leucine in it increases the energy levels. Like, it makes you crazy, like, energized, for real, without a harsh, like, fallback. For real, it's no lag behind being energized. Um, it increases the alertness and improve your memory. Um, the valine in it keeps the mind calm. Ain't that something? It keep me the mind calm. All one burning frankincense and drinking moringa. I'm just as calm as calm can be. <laughs> oh, but the moringa has 92 nutrients, 46 antioxidants, 36 anti-inflammatories, 18 amino acids, 9 essential amino acids, 2 times the amount of protein that's in yogurt. Y'all heard that? Two times the amount of protein that's in yogurt, three times the potassium in bananas, four times the calcium that's in milk, four times the vitamin A in carrots, seven times the vitamin C that's in oranges. Like, this is crazy. The way that it boosts your immune system, the amount of rich vitamins and minerals, especially the vitamin C, which is integral for regulating the body's immune system. Like, this is crazy strength to your body by consuming the moringa. I mean like crazy, crazy strength consuming moringa. 
And then due to it having all of these vitamins and minerals and amino acids, fatty acid, it prevents malnutrition. It literally gives you all of the nutrition that your body needs. Like, there's no way you can be consuming Moringa. And then not only that, it's considered a health superfood or whatever. And some of the countries where it's native to, like, they they cook it and consume it as a food like greens or like callaloo or anything else like it is consumed as a regular food to really it has you know what i'm saying the riboflavin and the magnesium and all the other um vitamins and nutrients in it to keep you 100 percent nutrition and well like it helped manage the diabetes um reduce your blood sugar levels like 50 milligrams of moringa leaves um eating with a meal can lower your blood levels by 21 percent like another thing that is really good that i'm always trying to find stuff for and i ain't even gonna lie y'all i so fell off with my eye drops moringa is good for eye health too um it's good in providing um protection against retinal damage so I am going to try to get back on some more eye drops because I did fall to the wayside with the um the rosemary eye drops. For real, forgot all about it, that uh, kind of stuff. Like, you know how it is. That's why, like, I'm trying to manifest consistency because when you forget about something, then, like, there you go. Like, let one day go by, then two day go by, then there you go, three weeks. So, um... It prevents dilation um, in your retinal vessels to keep the retinal um, intact. Um, it's good with heart health, lowering the cholesterol levels. Um, it helps to reduce heart um, a bunch of heart diseases with everything that it has in it. Like it really increases the flow of your blood, the circulation. It adds oxygen to your brain. Um, it's really good in boosting the mental health. The vitamin C that they have in it protect against declining um, mental ability and stroke. Um, the low vitamin C levels contribute to slower reasoning skills, which is a strong factor um, from death. Was a strong factor of death from stroke, from stroke or whatever. So consuming the moringa actually give your body, your immune system, all of the benefits. I mean, literally, it gives you all of the benefits it has 92 nutrients in it like for real though for real it got 92 nutrients and like um i've been using the moringa oil because it's really good in skincare so um i bought some because y'all know that i've been doing my soaps i made some soap yesterday so that was the whole purpose of me getting the moringa oil because i wanted to put it in soaps but um like two days ago i got like the most massive breakout that i've ever had um I ended up leaving my face mask and I had an old face mask in the car and I grabbed it and I put it on. It was like one of the blue and white little hospital ones. I don't even know how long it had been in my car, but I pulled up to the store, forgot my face mask at home. And so I put it on and my skin was like very, very itchy. See, my skin is so sensitive to everything. And so it was very, very itchy. And by the time I got in grocery shopping and like got in the house or whatever, like my skin was crazy and like it's not even as bad as it was and the thing is i was so disappointed because the dark spots was going away from me using the turmeric and then i got this massive breakout so last night i did my turmeric um mask and after I did the turmeric mask, I just put nothing on it but the moringa oil. So when I woke up this morning, um, a lot of the bumps was gone. I am going to attach a picture of how like broke out it was last night versus like right now. It's not even that much on there for real, but like literally all of that, it was like, it looked like, disgusting. Um, but the vitamin A, C, and E in it is um, very potent with antioxidants, which good is good in quenching and um, 
of unstable radicals that can react to damaged molecules that cause like aging um, wrinkles and fine lines in the skin or whatever. The high protein contents um, protect the dermal cells and damage from heavy metals um, such like mercury and stuff like that. Um, and the oil itself encourages skin to um, renew itself. And I feel like that's what it did last night. Like it renewed it. Like it went in there and like, you know, and even today this morning when I got up and I washed my face or whatever, right now the shine that you see is the moringa oil i don't have nothing on my face but just the moringa oil um but it does eliminate bacteria that cause breakouts so hopefully in you know by tonight and tomorrow like all of these bumps will be gone because this is crazy because the turmeric mask was really really working on me or whatever um but it like hydrate it cleanse it heal the skin it balance the skin um the high vitamin c and it helps the skin naturally produce collagen which aids in moisturizing the skin the lips um it kills any ac uh, any acne that cause bacteria and dark spots so hopefully it will aid my my turmeric and i was thinking about like dropping some of the moringa oil in with the turmeric to see with the turmeric mass or whatever and see how that goes with that um and it is really good with hair care um i have been dropping the moringa down in my everything oil because i do have a everything oil i call it a everything oil because it's like i've always been very very high on mixing all the oils that i have and using that for my hair i don't know if y'all can see but like y'all know i always been kind of bald i've been trying to grow like some edges right here and as y'all can see like it's hair like really growing i'm growing edges right here soon i'll be able to lock because my motto is everything gets locked everything gets locked so you know this little spot right here is doing this thing and it's pretty long um so it's growing in right here soon i'll be able to twist and start developing me a little lock right here over here on this side this little one it been here um for you know about a month or so it has starting to hard and formed into a little lock so i'm just waiting on the hairs to finish growing all around it but like it's hair coming right here and this little spot too so hopefully you know soon i'll be able but i'm happy about it because it literally is working my everything oil is growing me hair everywhere like even my little back locks like like i said everything gets locked i'm not cutting clipping trimming nothing i'm locking it up <laughs> it's getting to sit up um so yeah i mean get get y'all some of the oil because it really good it's really really good um the zinc in it promotes um and stimulates hair growth the essential amino acids uh provides healthy strong hair um the vitamin c and e fight against stress in the hair so it keeps your hair not so stressed out and you know what i'm saying the omega-3 nourishes the hair um and keep it essential for healthy hair production um it makes it shinier and healthier and it increases the blood circulation to the scalp which causes your hair to grow fine and that causes your hair to grow nice and healthy from the root so that's really good it has anti-inflammatory properties um it's beneficial for edema it has anti-cancer properties um it's big on preventing um alzheimer's disease immunosuppressive properties um it really relieves asthma it reduces the severity of asthma attacks um and various symptoms such as like wheezing coughing um contraction of the chest you know chest get tight and just be congested or whatever um it extends its protective effects against um, bronchitis conditions. It encourages better lung function and respiratory. So consuming the Moringa leaf, literally every part of the Moringa tree can be consumed. I'm talking about every part of the Moringa tree can be consumed for our body. It really can. Like, and not only consume, like it, it literally helps with everything. It like, Drinking a cup a day of the moringa um is effective against the formulation of kidney stones, um, bladders and ulcer problems. For real. Like drinking this, getting the ninety two nutrients and all of the vitamins, the minerals, the amino acids, like the essentials, it 
it has what our body needs. It's on the same level with CMOS. I'm not even going to hold you. It's on the same level with CMOS. Um, it protects us against kidney problems. It serves as an effective bioabsorbent and helps in the removal of heavy metals and harmful toxins out of our kidneys. So, and that, that which means that consuming it, you are going to urinate a lot. And don't get stressed out about that because it's removing the stuff out of your urinary tract, out of your kidney that doesn't need to be there. So thank you all again for watching. Thank you all for tuning in and subscribing. This is Cleopatra's Nature. Want to see Monday. I want y'all to just live Ari. I want y'all to clear y'all mind, find y'all some peace, start meditating, saging, and understand that life is going to be life and things just happen. And sometimes we cannot control the happening. We can only control how we react to the things that's happening. So I want us to all dig into ourselves like, just be happy for yourself. Know who you are. Understand that you don't have to be no more than who you desire or who you want to be in this world, on this earth, because this is just temporary. This is a short time. Find out your purpose. Dig into that and make yourself happy. When you make yourself happy, you can make everything and everybody else around you happy as well. So thank y'all. I love y'all. Live Irie.